Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to devote a whole video to talking about the good, the bad, and let's just say the ugly of um, the Archicad 25 cabinets. Now, um, the short version of this is the new cabinets have some problems, but overall they're worth using and hoping um, that they improve, and I think uh, as users, we need to let Graphsoft know the limitations of these and say, hey, you got to fix this because um, they're like 80% there. And the 80% that there is pretty great, but the 20% that's missing is super frustrating. So let's dive in. First off, when you upgrade from ARCHICAD 24 to 25, uh, one of the biggest disruptions is going to be all your cabinet objects are no longer going to be there unless you bring in the migration library. Uh, and in general, you want to move everything over and not use migration libraries just because you want to stay current. It's just going to make your life easier in the long run. So when I moved my template over to 25, uh, this is all the stuff from my library or my favorites that were missing. So when rebuilt all those stuff. So goodbye to that. Now, here's the cabinets. I've set up a couple for us to look at. And, you know, it's not too bad, right? Here's the... Um, Countertop outline, we got the dash line for the inside of the, uh, the the box. Now, the way I used to do it is I would just have, you know, the outline, I wouldn't have that dash line, but for reasons that become apparent in a moment, we're kind of stuck with that now. So let's look at this. That's not too bad, right? But if we go and check out the um, the default, let me go ahead and put in a sink. Oh, I can do it here. Turn on the sink, turn on the tab. Hit OK. So this is the default. That's problematic. Because when we put two of these next to each other, we get dash lines. I've been practicing architecture for over 20 years. Back my first job as a summer intern was doing things by hand, so I've drawn kitchens with a pencil with some 2D programs, with a bunch of 3D programs, and of course for the majority of my career with ARCHICAD. And I have never, ever drawn dashed lines between cabinets on quarter inch plans. So, that's not good. Let's look at this. There's a couple ways to get rid of that dashed line. Um, let's go down to representation. Um, and uh, first, let's detour to cabinet counter edge visibility. This is a good thing we can turn on or off the edges. And one of the things we can do is we can turn off the rear counter edge, which is going to be great. We're going to talk about that more um, later when we're talking about good stuff. Now, we can use uh, model view options. We can do it by MVO. Or we can set it full where we see that. We can go to medium, uh, where the box gets a little more simplified, and then the sink gets also more simplified. But we still got the wrong line, so we can go to low. Congratulations, you now don't have the edges, but your sink looks like garbage. And I should say your sink looks like different garbage because that for an undermount sink is also garbage. But, so we have got a problem. If we use model view options to remove the, the lines we don't want, the sinks become unusable and we'd have to fake in the sinks. So you have an option. You could fake in sinks or you can do the old trick of saying, you know what, uh, let's change the cabinet line to white, and that goes away. And if you're going to do that, you also go change the cabinet contour line to dash, to a, to a thin dot line. So let me just make that red. By doing that, you get very few dots. So you can see I've got a dot here, and a dot here, and then like a couple here. Um, and so by doing this combination of a white dotted line, you have very few dots, and those dots that do exist are white. Um, it's, it's a workaround that we've used for years to make certain things disappear when you couldn't otherwise make them disappear. Uh, so if you accept that, um, and I'm not going to go into the details of it, you can mess with it, but if you accept that dashed that dot white line, and this front dash line, if that's an okay graphic, then the only remaining problem I have with the 2D graphics for these new cabinets is the sink. This is atrocious. This is just like kind of embarrassing because what I want is I just want a simple sink, right? So 
one thing you can do, you could do some sort of fill over it. Again, I'm, I don't think you should, but if you have a finicky boss or finicky client, you could put a fill to remove some of those lines to make it a little thinner. But uh, I think that's not worth your time, and you just live with it. So let's, see, let's, get, rid of, let's get rid of these guys. Um, let's stick with the sink for a second. Uh, one thing I do like about these cabinets with the sinks uh, is we can change the size of the sink. That's something we couldn't do before. So really, if you think about it, what I was I used to be putting up with uh, kitchen sinks that were the wrong size but looked okay, and now I'm putting up with sinks that are the right size but look like garbage in 2D. But they look good in 3D, right? I'm really I'm I'm pleased with that. Now something to be aware of if you're going to use the undermount sink. Uh, you set this overlap to whatever the maximum is. If you set it to zero, then your undermount sink is not actually an undermount sink. It's just a dropped-in sink, and that's just ridiculous. So there's that. And I, I haven't gone super deep into these cabinets yet, so I'm sure there's some other little nuances where you need to, to mess with that. But again, to the credit, like there's some good sink options. You can change the size. So that's that's... Um, let's go with another positive. So, uh, one thing we couldn't do before in, uh, with the old cabinets is make a lot of changes to their, uh, they're called their segment geometry. So we can have, um, you know, multiple segments here. So we can have two, we can have three, whatever. Um, one problem or one not problem but uh quirk to understand when you go into this you go into its settings archicad is being really slow today i apologize i'm not sure what's going on i'm i don't think it's archicad 25 um i think there's just some my computer's been like overheating today so anyways uh if we go back to se segment geometry when we add a third one it's going to add it to the top rather than the bottom to me it should add from the bottom up because if you're adding to a cabinet, you're always going to have that top one probably set to a standard like six inches or five inches, whatever. But instead what happens, our new segment goes to the top, it's number three, and so now I have to resize that upper segment. That's annoying. But what's nice um, that we couldn't do before is we have a bunch of cool options for like... Uh, what these different segments are. And this is something that we couldn't do before. Like, um, oh, I'll, I'll do this as actually a serious one. You know, here's a, it's not a door. Let's say it's a panel. And this top one is uh, double hung. To me, a double hung is double hung window, not side by side doors. But anyways, this like two doors open, then an opening, then a panel. Like that's something we couldn't have done in the previous, uh, version of ARCHICAD with the old cabinet. So that's that's nice. Um, something that's not nice is uh, when you locate um, handles, they are referencing the outside of the box. So if I want to move this handle, select this in the pet palette, um, and you see that number, the X position, that's its distance from the edge of the box. So if we change this box to four feet, uh, you see that this distance from this from the center of the door to the handle changed, and that's that's not appropriate behavior, and that's not how it worked in the older version. So hopefully Graphsoft will hear this and fix that. Similarly, uh, watch this handle location. If we change the height of this to seven feet that handle repositions itself, which is not what I want it to do. I want the handle to stay in the same position. So again, annoying, um, but once you know about it, you can deal with it. And the flexibility of these cabinets are worth it. And I think once we get used to them, like we can hopefully suffer through it for a while until Graphsoft hears us and, and fixes these issues. Um, something nice, so I often put in filler panels. So oftentimes you're doing an array of cabinetry and you have like an inch or an inch and a half or three inches or some some like fraction uh, left over that you need to fill. Um, I'll, I'll let you look at the uh, settings for this 
favorite in here, but you can get a really thin cabinet that has a front panel uh, so as to fill in the spaces. So you could do that uh, with the old cabinets, but uh, this one just works better. Similarly, I don't want to waste too much time on this, but uh, the corner cabinets function much better in Archipad 25, so that's good. Okay, uh, another positive thing. Let's look at this kitchen island. Uh, this kitchen island is four cabinets. In Archicad 24, to do the same setup, I would have had one, two, three, four, five cabinets and a slab. So uh, this right here is the standard thing I do for uh, islands where I leave a hole to put in a microwave. I find this just works really well. It's easily accessible for kids. There's It's off the countertop. It doesn't use up critical space elsewhere. Um, so it's a nice little nook. Uh, to do this in Archicad 24, I'd have to have two cabinets stacked because I couldn't have a drawer with the opening above. Now I can. Uh, also, uh, this you know this is just a countertop overhang, which is really nice. All this stuff is in my template, by the way. So if I'm glossing over something, just download my template, which is on my website, um, and shunome.com slash template, and you can you know dive into the details. But what's what's so great about this? If we go to the plan. We let it think for some reason. Um, here. We are able to go to settings, and like I was talking earlier on in the video, um, we can uh, turn off, let's see, where are we? Um, under counter countertop visibility, we can turn off the rear counter which is great because we couldn't do that before. Before, we'd be stuck with that line. So if you put back-to-back -back counters, you would have that line. But now we don't have that issue. So just fantastic. This, this makes me very happy. And that's, this is actually the turning point. When I saw the new cabinets could do this, I thought, OK, let's, um, let's give these a real chance. OK, I think I'm going to wrap up. I want to talk about one more cabinet, uh, Miller. And I have a bath and vanity somewhere. Okay, here we are. Uh, this to me is a good placeholder. So here we've got this. Right? It's got open at the bottom, it's got the drawers, it's actually got a little bit of frame, and it's got some feet. Um, it's got overhang. So again, this is something nice that we could do, um, or it was harder to do in Archicad 24, but now is um, pretty straightforward and easy to do in 25. But let me show you some weirdness to this. Uh, so I got the feet turned on, which is great. But if we change the thickness of the cabinet, the distance, the feet are based off the center line of the cabinet, like the handles should be, uh, instead of off the edges of the cabinet, which is the way the handles are. So, uh, you know, you want these to be sticky to the edge of the cabinet, but when you resize it, you have to do it manually. Or there's, a, there's an easy trick here where You go to settings. I think I actually have an error in this file that I'm using as a test case, and that's why that default comes in. So I'm gonna go explore that. Anyways, so if we go to the footing um, and we change the number of legs in the front from two to three, and then back to two, uh, they space themselves right. So it's again, that's slowing you down. That's an annoying thing to have to do. But at least it's kind of a, I just put it in the middle there. It's kind of a mindless, easy solution. So again, I hope uh, Graphsoft maybe watches this video and learns a thing or two about how to how to fix the functionality of this. Because um, where I'll end is these cabinets are actually really close to great, and there's just a couple of dumb things that need to be fixed, um, which hopefully will get fixed. And if not, we can just put up with them because there's enough nice features to them. Okay, I think that's all. If you have more questions about, or if you have any questions about the cabinets, um, 
leave a comment. I'd happy to talk more about these because I think I'm going to be discovering a lot more about them.